Good morning, students. I hope all of you are fit and fine and studying well. As you all know, exams are approaching. Uh, today, we will be discussing about the lesson Force and Energy. This is chapter number 11. And what basically today we will be learning will be what is force, meaning of force, and types of forces. So, let us start. So, talking about force. Force can be used to move a stationary body. Okay, so if the body is at steady position, you can move it with the help of force. It can stop a moving body. Okay, for example, any body which is moving, for example, a ball. Okay, then you can stop it by applying a force on it. Also, you can change the direction of a moving body. So, these are the things that you can do. Also, uh, with the help of force, you can make moving body move faster so body which is already moving you can make it move faster with the help of the force that you apply you can also change the shape and size of the object okay a lump of clay so you can change the shape of it right then uh, comes types of forces talking about types of forces there are different types of force for example a muscular force force exerted by muscles of our body is called muscular force okay so whatever force that we apply with the help of muscles is called as muscular force then um, various tools use a mechanical force to do work elastic force is used to move a catapult for example so that is another kind of force talking about catapult have you seen this picture this was an old weapon that was used during the wars. This is called as catapult. It is a ballistic device used to launch a projectile a great distance without the aid of gunpowder or any other propellant. Nowadays we use gunpowder or propellants. Okay. Earlier people used to do it manually. Okay. With the help of muscular force, they used to do it, and the catapult played the other part which was elastic force so muscular force and elastic force together made up catapult so this was used during war times in the ancient and medieval period so this was a siege engine of the sort well then comes the gravitation force the force by which earth pulls an object towards itself is called as gravitation force earth is just an example every body which has a mass applies a gravitational force a moving body slows down or stops on its own due to frictional force for example if you throw a ball onto the ground it will stop after some time it will slow down and then it will stop this happens because of the frictional force exerted by the rough surface okay so if its surface is very smooth then the frictional force will be less if it is rough then it will be more the upward push of water on a floating object is called as a buoyant force or upthrust force. Okay, so water also applies a force and it is in upward direction. This is called as a buoyant force or upward force. Well, students, that was all for today. These were the topics that I wanted to teach you. I hope you understood it. Now, let us do some exercise. So, first one is the following diagram shows a man pushing a trolley now the man is applying a dash on the trolley so which type of force he is applying work force energy or muscles now here the thing is work energy and muscles muscles is not don't confuse it with muscular force he is not applying some muscles it is a totally wrong thing so on the only option that suits over here is a force okay now what kind of force he is applying he is applying a muscular force okay students so the correct option is force so you have to tick mark force okay let me tick mark this so correct option is force let us move on further when we threw a ball into air it falls back the force responsible for this is muscular force gravitational force mechanical force None of this. When we throw ball into air, it falls back. Now, the correct answer for this is gravitational force. It is because of the force applied by the earth, 
that the ball falls back onto the ground. So gravitational force is the correct answer. Then some homework for you. What are the effects of forces? You have to write down in your notebooks. And what are the different types of forces? Okay. First is what are the effects of forces? This is different question. And what are different types of forces? These two questions you have to answer. So along with these two questions, you can also write the earlier MCQs that we saw in your notebook. So this is a homework for you. Well, students, that was all for today. Thanks for attending this session. If you have any doubt, feel free to ask. You can put your comments in the comment box. So see you during next session with the another part of the same lesson. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.